goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Transport Hauler by Bagged and I'm Not Mental. We are going to be downloading uh, this today. And um, as I encourage you, always to read the description of the author before you download any mod or script to make sure that you meet the requirements as well and for this one uh, we are going to need your script hook v script hook v.net and native ui and we will also need um, a trainer any trainer it could be um, menu or a simple trainer um, and we will also need open four okay i will leave a link down in the description uh, to some videos showing how to install all of those that I just named okay um, once you have those installed you want to come to this page right here where I have a link down in the description for you to come to this page and download the transport hauler okay you can scroll down right here where it says all versions and click on the current one which is 2.1 all right once you download this it should look something like this on my left hand side I have a transport hauler folder right here and on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up okay um, now with the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory you want a mods folder okay um, if you don't have a mods folder go ahead and create a folder and name it mods okay and after you do that you want to take this uh, folder right here you want to just right click on it and copy the whole folder and then you want to go inside your mods folder and you want to paste that copy right here inside your mods folder as you can see I have the update folder right here okay so don't forget if you don't have a mods folder you want to create a new folder name it mods and then you want to copy this update folder and paste it inside of the mods folder okay now you want to open up your mods folder, um, open up update, open up 64, then open up DLC packs. Now let's go over to our transport hauler folder. Let's open it up. Now we want to click on add on. They have add on and replace, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the add on. Then inside of add-on, it is going to be a DLC archive, okay? If you read the README, the author will tell you to uh, name a folder, Thaler. You're going to um, create a new folder, and you're going to name it Thaler, just like so, all right? As you can see, I already created a new folder and named it Thaler, and I put the DLC inside that folder, okay? So it should look just like that. All right, create a new folder, name it Thaler, and then drag the DLC archive inside that folder. All right. So from this point, once you have that done, you want to go ahead and drag this whole folder to your DLC packs. I already have it, as you can see. Once you drag and drop that inside, you are all good to go. Now, if you uh, click back on your Grand Theft Auto 5 at the top right here, that will bring you back to your directory of your Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, what we want to do is go inside of our scripts folder. If you don't have a scripts folder, just go ahead and create a new folder and name it scripts. Okay, just like I have here. Once you have that created, I'm going to open up your scripts folder. And you want to go back to your transport hauler folder and we will go down to the bottom where it says scripts open up that folder and we are going to drag the last two files which is a small trailer dll and small trailer configuration settings we're going to drag these two files that I have highlighted inside of our scripts folder Right now, once that is done, uh, what we want to do now is open up Open 4. Okay, we want to open up our Open 4. 
to minimize this window. I already have my open for opened up right here on my right hand side. What we want to do now is uh, go to update. Click on update right here. Then we want to click on update.rpf. Now it's going to be a red banner right here. It's going to say copy to mods folder. Go ahead and select copy to mods folder. Or if you already have it in your mods folder, it's going to say show a mods folder. So select that also. Once it's copied to your mods folder, go ahead and select common. Then select data. Then scroll down to you see DLC list dot XML. What you want to do is uh, right click on that, then select edit. And right here is where you want to add a new item DLC pack line with the name Thaler. Okay. You want to name it the same name that you have over here inside your transport hauler. And click on add on. And the same name that we have on our folder right here we want to add to a line down here okay so what you want to do is just go ahead and grab and highlight that whole line and you want to copy that line then put the cursor behind that line and press enter on your keyboard and it'll open up a new line and you want to paste that same line you copied right here all right then you're going to take the name from that folder and just copy that name of that folder go back to your DLC list highlight that name and just paste the name over it paste all right and then go ahead and save all right now that we have the trailer added inside of our DLC packs and we have added it to our DLC list we are all good to go let's go ahead and minimize these windows and run the game all right once you load in you want to open up uh, your trainer I'm gonna use a simple trainer and you want to go to vehicle spawner and um, Mines is in Edit Vehicles menu. All right. What I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna spawn the truck first. This is a truck I also downloaded from um, from Bagged. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, let me go ahead and save this vehicle. So pretty much, you want to just go ahead and spawn you a uh, a truck. And let's go ahead and spawn the trailer. Okay. When you spawn it, you're going to spawn in on the trailer like this. Um, I'm going to save this as a vehicle also. Now I can get off. And you just want to jump in any pickup truck that you got make your way to uh, the front of the trailer and as you back in to um, as you back into the trailer it should automatically attach see as you can see it just automatically attached Let's say we wanted to um, tow a car. Let's go ahead and just spawn a quick little car. All right, we'll use this for example. And uh, let me just save this also. So
go. So this is uh, pretty much it right here. I like this, this is neat. Just in case you want to tow one car, you know what I mean, or a truck, or like, you know, a construction vehicle, this is perfect. destination when you want to let the car off just walk to the back of the ramp let down the ramp and you can just press a to unhook it or um, uh, the, the button to get inside of it there we go once you get inside of it it automatically unhooks you so you can press a to unhook it or just get in the vehicle and there you go Hook it again. Walk to the back of the ramp. Close it. And we are all good to go. This is pretty neat. I like this right here. Oh. And also, if you're in the vehicle and you want to detach it, if you want to detach the trailer from the truck, just press uh, A if you're on the controller, and I believe it's E if uh, you're using the keyboard. And then when you want to uh, use the trailer again, just back into it and it'll attach itself to, to the truck. Let's see here. This is going to do it for uh, this tutorial right here. This helped y'all out. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA. This is Games and Graphics. Me and Big Bowl and Ass Frank. We out of here until next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.